Hi guys, it's Beverly. I'm so excited. I made my top. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to turn the camera real quick. There you go. Look at my top. Look at the sleeves. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. This is Pamela's from Pamela's Adoring Crochet. And this is an older tutorial that she made. And she mentioned it just recently on her channel. And something spoke to me. I had this rodeo yarn. Shout out to Michelle. And shout out to Froggy Comes in Knitting or Winter Knitting. Because that's who I got this yarn from. was from Michelle. It's the rodeo, premier rodeo. And um, it's in the medium gray. I believe it's discontinued, and I did run out of, run out of some, the yarn, and so I went on eBay, and I got some more so that I could finish it, and then I'm also going to make it in the purple, in a purple color that's rodeo, and basically, Michelle gave me the yarn for free, and then I paid 17 something for the additional score. Skein. So basically this cost me $17 and something to make and it will be kind of the same for the purple But um, I, I had my husband take a photograph and so I'll insert it Into the video so you can see it, but I'm just like so excited. It came out. It is a little heavy I'm in Florida But it's just wonderful. It's half double crochets and then it's the chain uh, double crochet chain one double crochet and I did the neck a little bit different than her pattern um, because I think her pattern is either a small to a medium and this is probably an extra large and it is going to shrink okay and um, I did add some more here and I because I like my shirts higher and I just love how the sleeve came out. I mean, it's like a, is that a raglan sleeve? I don't know what it's called. And then you put, I put five rows of the netting around the bottom. And she called for five rows at the bottom. But I liked mine a little bit longer, so I put seven. And um, I'm just so happy with it. It's the first wearable for me that I've made. The others, you know, I made scarves and, and all kinds of different stuff, but being in Florida, I haven't kept any of the shawls or the hats or scarves or anything like that. But I'm just so excited that I did this. And I could tell right away it was going to fit me. It was going to come together. Um, she, of course, has her suggestions on the number of chains, but I just chained enough for the center of my bust. And then... I started up because you make two panels you sew it together at the shoulders and then add the sleeves now she did eight inches on both sides of the sleeve seam and I had to do ten because I liked it bigger plus it's supposed to uh, shrink so I do want to wash this in the washer this kind of yarn does say that it can be washed in the washer and tumble dry but I'm not going to tumble it dry I'll just wash it in the washer and um, then lay it out flat to dry I think because I don't want to have to um, hand wash this the yarn doesn't call for that so I'm glad about that but I don't want to because it's going to get all big and stretchy and who knows I might throw it in the dryer for just a little bit I have to see but Denise told me it might shrink and Pamela mentioned it might shrink too okay the next thing I want to show and tell you guys about is a crochet along that I'm going to be doing uh, I heard about it from Ella I believe um, and it's called Nan's Next Knots that's the name of her channel, and I believe her name is Nancy, so Nan's Next Knots. And apparently she's done these crochet alongs before. 
So this is crochet along number three. And it starts today. Today's the 18th. And how it works is you come up with nine different colors. Now, the ninth color would be your master color. And, or you could call it number one, whatever. And that would be the yarn that you would have the most. Now, she's recommending making it like a double or a full-size blanket, a double-size blanket. But I don't think I'm going to make it that big. Um, I forget how many chains she said she's going to chain, but I think I'm going to chain 105 for my blanket. And um, these are the colors. Now, there's only seven here, I think. Yes. This is the box from Just Yarn that I bought at uh, the dollar store. And I used a little bit of the purple because it matched, and it's Premier Yarn, and I was working on a project. So I used some of that, and um, so I have to come up with two more colors. Now, the master color is going to be beige or off-white, off-white because somebody donated a whole bunch of that. This is for weight yarn, and so I have to come up with one other color that I'm gonna use uh, for my eighth color, I guess. And the way they suggest it is that you get a piece of paper and um, fold it in half, or however you wanna do it, and mark your color names, all nine of your color names, and then you can uh, poke a hole or something and attach a thread from your yarn so you know what color it is however you want to do it and what she does is of course she explains how to do it a tutorial but every Thursday I think for 20 weeks she's going to pull a number one through eight and she'll have little green because I seen them little green numbers and she's going to pull them out of a hat and that'll be the number that you look to on your corresponding chart. You do a row of your master color, a couple rows of your master. Then she picks the number. So today might have been the first day she's going to pick the number. And you do the section in that color. Then you go ahead and do a section of the master color. Then she, next Thursday she'll pull another number. And you use your corresponding number color and then you would do the rows of that and another master color so the master color is going to be in between each rows of your color and so I figured I just make it as big as I want which will probably be 40 inches or close thereabout and it just will be fun because I have this yarn it's setting in my garage or wherever I keep my yarn <laughs> and um, I want to make something with it. Plus, I got donated from our computer, our computer, our crochet club. And I'll use up that as my master color. So, it's going to be cool. I'll be showing you from time to time. I'm going to link below uh, Nan's next, no, Nat's link for the crochet along number three. And, of course, you can do the other ones if you want. But, this is number three her number three so when you uh, if you go to her channel um, you would just look for Cal C A L crochet along three and then you'll know that that is a video pertaining to this crochet along and everybody's blankets gonna be different colors because everybody's gonna choose different eight colors and a different oh I know I also heard about it from the crafty Floridian so I'm she's gonna make one and so it'll be fun and let me check I don't think I have any other notes so I'm gonna edit this video get that picture up of my shirt uh, I'll link to Pamela's adoring crochet and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to the purple one right away but I just really love this pattern and it came out great like subscribe and as you guys can tell i'm i'm just so happy and thank you guys so much bye